Uh, it's 2020 February the 8th, it's Saturday, it's about half past eight and we're here at the Sputnik, to be honest, uh, I don't think it's a Sputnik, I think it looks more like a lunar lander, but everybody calls it the Sputnik and there's George Peak and Craddock Peak in the mist, there's the town, some nice wash of cloud over there. And we're going up the hill, um, that first little peak up there, uh, that sort of in the, in the at middle altitude, that's Kurvakop. Um, it's one of our major, our, our main um, rest stops. And then we go around the back and into the dip and then from there we go to the right hand side. Um, that's Fensterberg. Um, some people will, might not enjoy the, the climbing and the scrambling over the boulders there so they can they can wait for us at the, the foot of that Fensterberg. Um, then we go up to the top and we come back down and oh, we might go over to Otaniqua view in the middle. Apparently the that peak in the middle doesn't have a, a name officially but it's come to be known as Otaniqua view because the view from there is amazing. And then we go over to um, Tolberg, Tolberg, it's the one on the left hand side, so it's Tolberg and Otaniqua view in the middle and Fensterberg and then we come back down again. Okay, we're going to cross the national road here on top of the Otaniqua Pass. Uh, we're at about 100, uh, sorry, 850 meters altitude already, so it's not a very far climb. We're not climbing as high as uh, George Peak and Craddock Peak, so uh, um, the estimate is that it'll take about six hours to complete the hike. We might be back about lunchtime-ish. Um, we're going to cross over the national road there, then head slightly to the left, and then on the right hand side of the road, I can actually see it from here, I think, there's a uh, a drainage grid. Um, okay, now I was looking at the wrong one. There were the cars passing now, that sign board next to the side of the road. Drainage grid is just behind that. And then you can see the the path running up the hill to those telegraph tele, telephone poles up the hill and then all the way to Skirvakop. Okay, here's the signboard by the side of the road. Uh, and then there's the grid. There's the grid. This is a berg, meneer. There's any name. It's in the name. Going up the hill. That's that first telephone pole. Behind that bush. And then there's the next one on the corner. And then from there we head towards Skirvakop, which we can't see at the moment. Here's the telegraph pole, telephone pole. It's the view. George Peak and Craddock Peak on the right hand side. And the Skyline Ridge on the left. And Kampfuskloof Peak in the fog over there on the left. And that's the road to Oturin through the valley. That's Tolberg right in front of us as we head towards the telephone pole, but now the path turns to the right. We're zigzagging up the hill. That's a nice view out over the town. I haven't seen that in a good couple of years. I haven't been high up enough um, to break through the clouds, but 
I'll zoom in in post production. There's a sea of cloud stretching out. That's Craddock and George Peak. Tolberg, Antinico view. That's Kerbukop. Fensterberg is behind Antinico view. Yeah, it's going on to 10 to 8 on my watch and at certain points along the way there are little stacks of rocks like this which serve as route markers to indicate that other people have passed this way before um, at the moment the path seems to be pretty straightforward and fairly clear um, but I have been here in the past where I couldn't see where to go and then those route markers are quite useful but you've got to know what to look for yeah, it's just about 8 o'clock we're coming up on Skirvakop here's at the big view just behind it Tolberg George and Craddock and along the way, we have lost uh, three members of our party. Uh, they didn't feel strong enough to, to continue the way. It is a fairly steep incline, but it's going to get steeper still. Um, so they've turned back. I can just see, I don't think you'll be able to see it on the video, but I can just see the, the last two of them turning, getting up and turning around now. Um, and there's Kampuskloof Peak. I think you've got a view of it on the middle of the And on the inner? There is Tolberg. Oh yeah, okay, we can feel it now. This is um, very disorientating. Oh yeah. Um, as you don't precisely know where everyone is, and then you come every time over a new rain, and then you your horizon for you completely different, and then where is Wien now? This is there, right? There is Tolberg. And then where is the fence? He is behind us, we can't see from here, or not? Here in is Kerbe Kop. Ons is now a path now, so we're going to go under and eat. And then Tolberg there on the other side. And right in the middle of the shot, going up there on the ridge, uh, that little pointy bit, I'll zoom in on post-production. That little pointy bit is known as uh, Eagle Rock. And you'll see when we get there. Yes, I have to fit. Children, children, play nice. <laughs> Ja, maar... Nog niet eens toe. Eén, twee, drie. 
Ik moet Pieters hand grijp wat zo. Yes. Ja man, die bouwt mooi Ik wacht nog heel tijd niet voor jou, Oké. And then there, and there's a tiny little grip, just for balance. Oops, I don't get snagged. Change hands. There's a grip. I'm gonna put my foot there. And there. And so get the stick out of the way. There. And bring feet up here. There we go. And there's another hand grip if you have to. There's another foot. <laughs> there's another foot over there. And so we do it slowly and carefully. Perhaps another grand grip over there. Tiny little grip. That's one. That one's better. And put the foot over there. And step up. There we go. And this is the view down. Slightly technical. Slightly technical. And apparently, from what I hear, Finsterberg is going to be similar. There's a, the wave rock. You can see the curl, the wave is about to break. Um, some people climb on top and they do a surfing move. Other people climb down here at the bottom and they do a barrel move. And uh, the view is amazing. Okay, let's see if we can get some pixels of you. I'm going to try to stay out of the photographs. Oops. Watch where you slip. Don't slip. Okay. I'm going over the top here. Here's another little spot with a with a view. It's rather bouldery, if that's a word. And there's Wave Rock from the other side. I don't like edges all that much, but uh, here's the edge. Off into the distance. Campus Cliff Peak. And in that little necky over there. Little dip. And go over the top and you go down into Campus Cliff. Apparently, there's a hut somewhere along that route. Uh, it might not be in use anymore, but I've heard there at least used to be a hut, I think. And then one day, I want to, from the Sputnik, go up um, and then at first pass to the left hand side. I'm gonna take that, go to Campus Cliff. And then try to, from that neck, from that little dip, go up perhaps behind that, that hill over there. Go up behind and then do the ridge line over the top. Do the ridge line over the top up to there's about. There's. 
and then there's a path coming down the hill again doing a circle route around um, I've gone up the, the front that's a fairly steep climb you think you're at the top and you just crest the hill and then uh, there's another climb to go yeah, it's, uh, it's a tough climb that it's steep it's long and then we went the other way to that mountain over there under my fingertip but that's not a circle route that's just a there and back again and you go down so I want to do a circle route one way around and then perhaps when everybody's feeling a little bit fitter I'll take it up that way and then the other way around again It's going on to 22.9 and we're leaving the, the wave rock here at Skirvikop and uh, there's a bit of climbing again. And there's some cloud washing up the valley, amazing. Man, I think we run out of space on our, on our camera. Yeah, there's just so many great photo opportunities. I'm not in your way, am I? Uh, go for it, doesn't I'm matter. Gonna get a photo yeah, sure. I want to get the scramble. Because people want to know what, what the route is like. So I try to get the, the scary bits. Let them know if you can deal with this, then you can deal with it. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Well, I get to pick up in a few minutes on something more. I saw the previous. Okay. The Lena. And go. Rurum Kepi. And grab there. Put a foot down there, then slip and swing out that way. Over there, and then go up the hill. Might actually be a little bit easier this way. And I've just noticed that here's another rock pile. And here is what I refer to as the swimming cap plant. It only grows at a certain altitude. I don't know exactly which what what the limit of that altitude in that altitude range is but we are higher than at the Nikwa pass which is at 850 meters so this might be 900 or a thousand thousand meters um, above sea level and uh, i don't see them growing lower down and i see them all the way up to george peak and on cradle peak as well Here's another rock pile. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eleven. Eleven people in the body at the moment. Alright, let's see how should we do this. Up the top. There we go. Here's another rock pile, that over there, that is the back of Wave Rock, we were just down there now, actually behind this rock over here, that's where we had our picnic stop.
Cloth comes over the figure over here. There's another rock pile. And there are two others. And the path turns around here, around the back of this discovery cup. And I think I can hear some water crashing over there. It's definitely water coming down, but I. Oh, there it is. You really have to know where to look to see it. It looks just like the rocks. There's another rock pile over there. Here's another one. And the path goes down the hill. There's another rock pile. And through the dip. And up the hill. At the Nikwa view in the middle. Fensterberg on the right hand side. And Tolberg on the left. And there's Eagle Rock just sticking out behind that outcropping. There's another little marker. We've had a rest stop just over there. Looks like the clouds are coming up. And uh, somebody took a GPS reading and we were at an altitude of 1042. I suppose we're probably at 1070 now. Just about nine o'clock and uh, here's a bit of flat before we go up to uh, the next incline and uh, yeah. look at the clouds drifting up and there's Eagle Rock the Tolberg Atanikwa Pass is covered by cloud now George Peak and Craddock Peak in the distance also covered by cloud. And it's open towards our back. The sun is shining in the valley. The sweat is running into my eyes. It's so beautiful, I feel like crying. With the sweat running into my eyes. Whatever. And that is Otaniko View coming up. And Fensterberg over there. Uh, Fensterberg, um, yeah, translated, uh, that's an uh, English pronunciation of the Afrikaans, Fensterberg. And the uh, um, English translation would be um, Window Mountain. When we get to the top, I'll show you the window. Um, yeah, it's about 10 past 9. Not further up, but the clouds just keep on shifting. And it gets on getting prettier and prettier. Yeah. Five minutes later, perhaps not even, and the view is completely changed. There's still that window in the middle, but then there's this wash of cloud coming up on the left hand side. And just behind the, the edge over there of the outcropping of that little hill, you can see the clouds billowing. Yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> okay, this is... I've heard now that we've just done 1.7 kilometers up to here. It is uh, going on to quarter past nine. And you can see we're moving fairly slowly. I've just been informed that uh, at this point we are 1,162 meters above sea level. Capi, did this bush here flock? Yes, above sea level. Yeah, um, I might be imagining it, imagining it, or it might just have been the steep little incline here, but I think I'm uh, 
fighting slightly a little bit harder for my for my breath now. Air might be getting a little bit thinner. Yeah, it's 25 past nine on my watch and it looks like we've just passed the top of Tolberg. I think that's Tolberg straight ahead and I'm looking down on top of it. That's a surprise. I don't think we climbed that fast. Unless it isn't Tolberg. But uh, We go up the hill. It's a lot of rock climbing. Well, rock scrambling. Half past nine. And uh, we've come to a spot of rocks. Having a sit down, perhaps a cup of coffee. And uh, it does look like we're going to have a, a lower layer. A lower layer and an upper layer. Pretty amazing man. But we're not at the top yet. It's an equal view top is over there. And then Finsterberg is over there. And then Tolberg is down there. Here we are on the top of the Nico view. And there's a field of clouds. Wow. Feels as if you can just step off the mountain and carry on walking. Amazing. Okay. But we somehow we we got separated from our group, so we're going down the top of Ataniqua view on the side towards the west and it's fairly steep going but watch your footing they might have taken the easier path there they were at the bottom but yes there is a path down here links 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 yeah. Sit, sit, sit. Yeah. Yep. down step wide there we go break and break down there try to get this right. and this is gonna be tricky let's see if I can catch a footing over there nope that rock is loose so I'll just have to wedge myself here Here's a step and here's a step and another step. This would be easier going up than coming down. Yeah. Yeah, I'll say, go for it. Yeah. That's it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, that's us. Uh, five to ten. Just come down that hill. And we're starting up on the other side. We'll have this big rock here. And we've caught up with our group again. Ten. Hi. Yeah. Ten o'clock. Coming up over the crest. 
and uh, there we are. Amazing. I hope we're still going up to the top. I want to go to the top. Altitude coming up on one two four zero. One two four zero. So good. And it's it's fairly steep downhill. I don't want to slip here. Uh, keep on forward. It's a steep climb. It's not. It's not a scramble. It's just one foot in front of the other. Very tall steps up. Ten past ten. I think here at the top, it's pretty much go where you feel most comfortable. Um, path isn't very clear, but we're pretty much on top. And you can just work your way around. Look at all these trees. Just burnt trees. This must be from the fires of 2018. Clouds are still washing up. Okay, and there's the top. Okay, I don't think I got all of that on the video, but uh, Andre says that this is where it gets tricky over the boulders, and Looks like Cappy might have an easier way. Okay. Thank you for it. Okay. Trap to. Okay, wacht, let ek eerder trap voor het. Yes. Say my squid, my see. Okay, yeah. Alright, here we go. You can see there's a gap between the rocks. And it's about. That's the drop. Oh, here's the fenster. Here's the fenster. Would you look at that? Here is the fenster. There's the. That, let me just get it, that, that plant over there, there's a swimming cap plant again. This is the Fenster of Fensterberg. Okay, so, step down here. I'll reach over there and step down there. Oops, that's slippery. And grab there. And it's tricky. Yeah, yeah this is. Okay, I'm going to put my stick over my wrist because it's getting in the way now. 
I need both arms. Both hands. Okay. There we go. This is fairly tricky, make no mistake. Slowly. And then being over here. Let's see. Come on. Turn on camera. I want to see what's happening here. There we go. And then grip over there. Perhaps step over there. Let's see, there's a grip. And then step in that little hole, but I'm gonna to have to move the camera to that hand grip over there. Step in that little hole. There we go. Here's another hand grip. I'm gonna aim for that crack. Step in there. Let's see, that's that's loose, but that's solid. And then this is tricky. Make no mistake. To be honest. Feeling slightly uncomfortable here. You know that moment when your stomach turns? Yeah. Yep. Careful with the footing. There's a handhold. Get the camera again. Come on, camera. Just the camera again. It's a foothold. And then from here. Let's see how am I gonna get down here. Sit down. Slide down. And hold on to there. Stop there. And my foot's on the ground. Other foot's on the ground. And I think this is a little bit tougher than either George or Crater Peak. This is much more technical than either of those. We got a whole bunch of insects flying around here. Right. Let's see which way is the easiest. Up here somewhere. So step there. Grab there. Step there. Right, but that. Grab there. Grab there. And I'm gonna bring my foot up here into the gap. Nope. Decided to put my foot over there. And then I need to get into that gap. I'm gonna place my hand there and um, push up. Push up. Other foot in there. There we go. Releasing that one. Coming up. All right. There we go. And there are some people at the top already. Here we go. Uh, wait. Might be easier this way. There we go. Wat hier was die scary plek. Ek het nou net 'n scary plek gehad. Ek toch is voorby. Well, okay. Okay. Ah, okay. Yeah. That looks like tricky. That looks tricky. Okay. Okay. And according to the ladies inspection and verdict, it looks like the left hand side is the easiest. Yeah. Yeah, net drie punten contact altijd. 
three points of contact at all times. Says the one holding the video camera. Dot dot dot, filling the blanks. Um, and once again, I suspect that going up might actually be easier than coming down. Yeah, going up is easy peasy, man. Coming, coming down is going to be slip and slide on your backside. Yeah, can I take it? And who fully you know? Okay, mooi. Yeah. Oh, okay, yes. Me first time today. Me first time. Me first time. So Anybody? One, two. I can marry honestly. Yes, as you veterans. Oh, that's, that's, that's Lovely. That's precious. Thank you, Andre. Thanks, man. Thank you, Andre. Look at those peaks there. Look at that cradle peak. Cradle peak. peak. Yeah. And that little hole in the fog there. And then towards George, we can see nothing. And then towards Mossel Bay, field of clouds. It's amazing. Look at that. One, two, five, seven meters above sea level. Yeah. Look at that. Amazing. <laughs> There's a drop. There's a drop. One two five nine elevation. One two five nine, yeah. For the first time in November. Okay. Yeah, and I thought I first thought no, there's someone spending the night at the peak, so I'm flashing back to them. <laughs> <laughs> and no response, and the light keeps on shining steady. So yeah, apparently that's a, a light. Yes, yes. Um, LCD, uh, LED panel light. And uh, Andre, where do you stay in town? Heather Park. So this is visible from Heather Park. I'll take a. I'll look and see if it's visible from Glen Barry as well. Okay. It's still very cloudy towards our southeast. Southwest is clouding up as well. People that I've been to talk about. Oh yes. Okay. We got halfway there the other day. We went to the Eagle. Remember? Yeah, yeah, we went to the yeah. Eagle. Yes. And we were basically humming and hawing. Yeah, and then we and all that yeah, turned around. So. There is a person on the ridge coming up. That that was a false climb. Yeah, he's waving back at us. Yeah, it's about ten to eleven on my watch and going down going to be a little bit more tricky than coming up. Coming up was easy. So we're going to do that slide slide. Let's take this rock out of the way because that's just waiting to slip. And then slide down here. There we go. 
Okay. Well, it's not so bad so far. Ook je Facebook status niet. Somebody's disturbing an ant nest, so I don't want to sit in that. Let's step over. There we go. That's good. I think if you slide here, it won't be too far. There's some last words. Bushes and brush in the way that will stop you from sliding all the way down. There we go, that was the worst. Or so they say. Okay, I'm going to try to get some footage here. This is tricky. There's a sit back down again. There's a foothold down there. And then we're going across that way, like that, tilt it up a bit. I've attached the camera to my belt now, and I hope the angle will be sufficient. There's a handle over there. And then handled okay. right there. You can see my feet dangling probably. I'm just sitting on my left bum here. And then drop down. There we go. Hands free. And then going up that way again. I can slide here between the rocks. There's another way down that I can see. Slide here between the rocks. Grips. You wouldn't think this is a grip. This is a grip. Put your hand down there like that. It's fairly solid. There's another one over there. I'm going to use this. Step down into the hole. Step down into the hole. And then scoot along through the gap. And bring the foot up. Put it on that ledge. That ledge over there. And reach forward. There's a foothold again. There's a there's another foothold. I'm going to aim for that one. And get this. Here's a handle. Right. And you can see that. Okay, this this belt mount is actually pretty good. down you got that hands free again and step over there forward and that there right all fours no I don't wait to do this for me at least I really don't feel comfortable standing up on this rock Actually, right up here, stuck in bunky hands. Slide down there. And slide down here into the gap again. There we 
Kan. Look at that hole down there. Sure. Okay. Nee, ik denk voor tussen, dank je. Ze heeft weer wat. Ja, ik ja, 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 ik denk dat ik hier dat. Dit is mijn zwaar, de naam van die berg en dan of ik kom eens van hier die glieven, dus die feesten. Exactly. Here's the window in Window Mountain. Okay, and this is this was the worst of it for me at least. And okay. Oh, good. Oh, good. This veldman is amazing. I've got a, a tripod that can change the feet. It's like little ball joints all over the place. All in the I've got three little ball joint legs going down and I attach it to my belt and it's it's a wonderful I was experimenting with a head mount, I was experimenting with a chesty, none of them, neither of them worked. Um, I've been um, doing handheld videos for the last couple of videos that, I that I've taken, but over here, climbing these boulders, coming down especially, I just had to attach it to my belt and uh, I can move it around, I can see on the, on the rear screen exactly what, I'm, what footage I'm getting, this works. If anybody wonders how how to do it, I would recommend get yourself a ball, a ball joint tripod and then there we go, oh, that was a jump, sorry about that and attach it to your belt, it works wonders okay, it's about just past 11 on my watch and this is going back towards Otaniqua view the other people are not going over the top of Otaniqua view Andre is taking them around the south side when they came up to Fensterberg they took the northern route on which we are now um, or on the northern side of the mountain at least where we are now they took the northern route around uh, Otaniqua view as well and now he says he's going to take us around the southern route so that's a nice circle around the mountain We've got a, another climber approaching our group. Um, we know him well, he's a good climber. And he's brought his dog along today. He's going to join up with us later on. Um, he's probably going to drop down around the back uh, while we scoot around the southern side of Otaniqua View. Five past 11, I just can't get enough of that view. Um, it's cleared up towards George side now There's a uh, George Peak and a Craddock Peak um, In the open and you can see the sea of clouds just stretching out away into the distance Yes okay. I thought we might be going straight over the top here but it looks a little bit more tricky going over these boulders so that might actually be the ideal way and once again we do it slide 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 over here on the southern side facing away from Otaniqua Pass it is absolutely quiet except for the voices in the background of course but um, there's no, no city noise I can hear some water d running down in the valley down there somewhere it's only the slightest breath of air There's a butterfly going away over the clouds. The buzz of insects every so often.
I think I can stay here for a while, but uh, gotta move on. See, it's fairly steep going down. Yes, generally a zigzag is easier than straight down. Okay, so it's about quarter past 11. Let's get that, yeah. And uh, just at the foot of, of that Nikwa View Hill, at the last tree, we turn right. I'm going to scoot along the southern side. I have to admit, when I came down here this morning, I did not see a path this way. Quarter past 11 still. We've just turned off to the southern side of Atomico View and looking towards Mossel Bay. And there, at the top of Fensterberg. And there isn't really a path over here. It's sort of bundu bashing. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I can see a slight path if I use my imagination. 20 past 11. And uh, it's slow going here. Not so much bundu bashing, but it's uneven terrain. And you've got to work your way around the trees and watch your step the leaves on the foot are wet and slippery the reason we took this path around the south side is so that we can miss the climb over the top going up and come back down again. This is much more level. Oops. Go. It's sort of a shortcut. Here they're coming out on the other side. Going on to 25 past 11, there's a Nikwa view behind us, and I presume that's Tolberg, and then Eagle Rock, and here's Elmer's dog. Hello there, doggy! Let's get a view. Okay. Here's a drop. Down into the valley. And I presume we're going to work our way along this ridge and then go up and down that way. We're coming down the the hill. Yeah, it's still 25 past get that 25 past 11 and then scooting around the back taking the bend here and then we're going down over there ultimately there's Andre zigzagging down the hill basically and then across the ridge Still pretty much 
Hang on to half post. Five increments, five minute increments in the video. Um, it's not going quickly down this hill. You have to be careful. There's a lot of sliding. Go down on your haunches and feet first. Let's see how this goes. Go. Oops. Lost grip. Let's get the angle there. There we go. That's good. There we go. Alright. Okay, it's about uh, 20 to 12. Going to leave our bags here on this rock. Um, Tolberg is that way, is straight ahead, and <laughs> we're going down on the side of the rock. Okay, he's going down behind the rock, and there's a nice handhold on the edge of the rock. Can you draw? Can you sound? Okay. okay. Alright. And here's a little bit of a drop down onto the next level. I think I'm going to step over and then drop down there. Let's see what the grip is like here. No. That's not too solid, but go. And, and jump. And that's how you do it. Come little doggy. There we go. Quarter to 12. There's a gap. Cappy is warning us about the baboons. Climbing up the hill here. Ten to twelve. See, it's quite foggy around us. We're on the level now, and I think we should be dropping down. Again, somewhere up ahead. There's a rock ridge over here. Not a very big one, but uh, we're going to zigzag. On the back, and down. I suppose you could go over the top. But the idea is generally to go downhill again. And you can see the sun coming out now. <laughs> and there's Eagle Rock in the mist. People climbing onto the back of the eagle. Um, it's called Eagle Rock because it's pointed and it reminds of the peak of an eagle. <laughs> okay, it's opening up slightly. A little window in the clouds. And now it's closing up again. There's blue. There's blue. It's blue behind us. It's blue behind us. It's opening up. It is opening up, people. Look at that.
check it out. The mountain tops are like islands in the clouds. Yes, this is why we do it. Yeah, it's cleared up now nicely, um, but it's it's washing our way from from behind. Nope. <laughs> Ten past twelve, and it's closed up completely again. We had a window of opportunity for about five minutes down at Eagle Rock today, and it was pretty amazing. Okay, it's about twenty-five to one. And apparently, it's been determined that it's a little bit easier to go to the right hand side when you get to this point. This is a steep slide down on the way to, um, to Tolberg and Eagle Rock, um, to where we left our bags. We're about I don't know, 100 meters away from where we left our bags. So they say right hand side might be easier. There isn't a straight path, I mean a clear path down here. Yeah, it's a bit of window bashing. But to the right, it does seem to be easier because it's more of a zigzag than doing the rock scramble on the left. Twenty to one, and I believe here we are scooting along the southern side of Ateniqua View again, going around the back, and then going down to the pass and to the Sputnik where we park our cars. Quarter to one. I've just heard that uh, we've done about 4.3 kilometers hiking this morning and we're still on the south side of 